Welcome back to Cardavis.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, An Intergalactic Obliteration of the Cosmic Fine-Tuning Argument, The Existence of God. In this video, we're going to be looking at the multiverse objection to the cosmic fine-tuning argument. This is probably the most common objection that you will find to this argument. So let's take a look. So, as we last left the cosmic fine-tuning argument, we had it something like this. Basically, there are constants out there in the universe that are very finely tuned. They had to be very exact for life to exist. Either these constants were arrived at by chance, or there was some kind of intelligence that designed them. It's very unlikely they were arrived at by chance. Therefore, it's very likely that an intelligence designed them. So... The multiverse objection is going to go as follows. The way to balance out astronomical odds is to allow for more than one throw of the dice. If you have a near infinite number of chances to hit a very exact number, the likelihood of hitting it increases significantly. If you roll your dice enough times, eventually you'll get a Yahtzee. So, the objection, objection number one, to the cosmic fine-tuning argument is going to go as follows. So imagine that there are an infinite or finite but very high number of universes, which represent all the possible values of the fine-tuned constant. So imagine that all of the universes that could exist based on the different possibilities of these constants do exist. One of these universes must possess a set of values that are in fact finely tuned to life. There's no need for a designer, just an exhaustive set of universes. And objection number two, we don't even need to posit an exhaustive set of universes or a set of universes that instantiate all the possible values. We just need to have a really finite but very large number of universes. They don't need to be exhaustive, but eventually the odds are going to significantly increase. So long as there are enough universes, the probability of one that has Constance fine-tuned to life is going to come down into an acceptable range. Similarly, a proponent of David Lewis's modal realism does not need to be worried by the cosmic fine-tuning argument at all. For the modal realist, all possible worlds are in fact physical worlds, just worlds we don't have any access to. The actual world is no more than an indexical, like here or now. Such a position would allow for all logically possible values of the constants to be the case in each of many different worlds. This would in fact make life a logical necessity, because all of the worlds are physical in some sense. Our being in the actual world means, of course, we're in the world where life exists. We couldn't be in any of the worlds where life doesn't exist, so of course the constants are fine-tuned in this world, and in a bunch of other worlds, they're not. We've exhausted all the possibilities, so clearly we're going to have at least one world where life exists, because life exists in this world, or so it would seem. Note there's a subtle difference between worlds and universes here, because worlds are going to be exhausting logical possibilities, while the universes are just going to be exhausting the numeric possibilities of the different constants. And universes don't explicitly posit that you can't go from universe to universe, while David Lewis's modal realism requires that you can't jump around from world to world. So, the intuition present in these objections is that given enough possible worlds or universes, the odds for one with life improve significantly. Or, in other words, it's an objection to premise three. Simply because there are long odds against something doesn't imply that there's only one toss of the coin or throw of the dice. So, that was the multiverse objection to the cosmic fine-tuning argument. Next up, we're going to look at Planiga's poker game response, followed by the elaborate poker equivocation, where I'm going to look at some problems with the poker game response, and quite a few more objections to come. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.